All right, hey guys, what's up? It is Simone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full on tutorial slash instructional showing you guys how to, well explaining to you guys and showing you how to buy a good wig. Give you guys a little heads up, today's video is sponsored by Hair Vivi and I actually have a coupon code for you guys and you can get $30 off your next purchase from Hair Vivi. The code is Simone. You could also find all the information and details to this unit down below. In this video, I'm gonna go through a list of things that you should consider when you're actually purchasing your wig, whether you are a avid wig wearer or a beginner. What we're gonna talk about is the hairline, the knots on a lace frontal, density, because that is very important, the lace, the hair texture, and hair color, and the volume. We're gonna go through each one, and I'm going to explain to you guys how to really determine if a wig is worth it, if you should purchase it, and so forth based on these things. So starting off with the plucked hairline. Now the hairline to me is the most important part of the wig. It is 2022, most companies like Hair Vivi <laughs> provide a pre-plucked hairline. And basically what that means is the wig is already plucked for you. You might have to do some minor adjustments if you really are particular when it comes to your hairline, but for the most part, the wig will be completely plucked. What that also means is it should have a gradient flow. So it's not gonna be super full in the hairline like how it used to be back in the day. It's gonna be actually really light and kind of mimic a natural hairline. That way, if you are a beginner and you have no idea, like no idea how to do a wig or how to pluck a wig or a hairline, this will be super easy for you because you don't have to do anything but take it out the box and basically put it on your head before you cut the lace. So Hair Vivi, really, 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 they get it. They get it. If you watch my other videos, I've been working with them for like five years. You'll see that the hairline has always been consistent. So it starts off really light and then it goes into a natural like gradient flow. We talked about it being plucked. When considering the hairline, pluck is one part of the hairline, but the shape of the hairline is also really important. Some wigs back in the day used to come with this like weird wavy type of hairline. Like it didn't even look natural. No one's hairline looks like that. Then there's some wig that is come with a straight hairline and then you have to figure out how to make it look natural and that will take so much time. Now I am a very lazy wig wearer, okay? Like <laughs> I am a proud lazy wig wearer. <laughs> So if I have to really go in and customize a whole hairline just to get it to look natural, I will probably never wear it. So you want a hairline that has a shape that looks natural. Now it most likely will not look exactly like your hairline, but it will look close enough to where if you didn't want to pluck it, you wouldn't really have to and you could still get away with it. Now let's talk about the thickness. Like I mentioned before, if it's too thick, it's not gonna look natural. You will be plucking for hours, okay? It is not worth it unless you already bought it. Moving on to bleached knots. This was all the rave back in the day because no one knew how to bleach knots and it could, it could actually be a thing where it could go left or it could actually go right. We've obviously figured out many ways to bleach our knots, have it look great, have no mistakes. Like I said, I'm lazy. I don't wanna bleach my knots. I wanna take it out the box and put it on my head. Another thing you should look for when you are looking for a good wig is look for wigs that already come pre bleached like the knots are already bleached and the reason why that is because there are companies out there that have nailed it like you don't even see a knot in sight if you're unfamiliar with what a knot is a knot basically is the little black bead or ball that's at the roots of the lace if you don't bleach this it will look like little dots in your scalp and it prevents the lace wig or the lace closure from looking natural. We don't want that, okay? We want it to look like scalp. Only way you can get it to look like scalp is if the knots are bleached. To eliminate any stress or any mistakes, I say that it's best if you can already buy a wig from a company that offers the option to bleach your knots. It's worth it, trust me. <laughs> okay, so hair color is gonna be the next one that we're gonna tackle on this list. Now, I think hair color is so important when it comes to buying a good wig. This wig is from Hair Vivi, and I love the way the color just looks so natural. 
it doesn't look like the hair is bad you can tell when you bleach bad hair now I didn't bleach this it already came bleach which again eliminates more work for me to do but you can tell when a wig is bad if you ever have to bleach it or if you're buying a wig already bleached if the color looks brassy if it is patchy if it just looks streaky and you really don't want your unit to look like that now I like for my units to look as natural as possible obviously everyone knows it's not my hair <laughs> I want to still be able to love my wig and have it mimic real hair as close as possible so for me if my color is off that is a problem for me I love how they have the two little streaks in the front it just gives it like that nice like updated balayage type of look it's very trendy it's very on point I think when you're looking for a wig and if you are trying to go towards trendy hairstyles I think a major thing to look for is how they bleached it now some brands i've gotten wigs from brands where it was supposed to be like you know a streaky look and at the root is so harsh you want it to have a gradient flow to where it looks like it was done by a professional now when you are buying from a wig company you have to be skeptical because you don't really know if it's factories or if it's just somebody that's just throwing dye on the hair and so really pay attention to that when you're buying a wig from a specific brand some brands i'm telling you they nail the color hair vivi i'm gonna say hair vivi they get it right every time and it's true so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the hair texture i tend to shy away from synthetic wigs what i categorize synthetic wigs as good wigs me personally no i think they're great for a fun time i think they're great for temporary usage but i would not consider that to be the best wig or even a good wig because the lifespan on synthetic wigs are very short so you kind of can't put too much heat on it now technology has advanced and there are some synthetic wigs that you can put heat on but for the most part the quality of it will tend will go down quicker than it would if you were to get a human hair wig so when you are buying a good wig make sure it's hundred percent human hair when it's hundred percent human hair you can dye it you can bleach it you can put as much heat on it and it will still look like brand new but you want to choose a unit that has a hundred percent human hair and it's softer like I've had non-human hair or 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 human hair and when I tell you it's so freaking itchy like it's so itchy on your skin and on your like on your scalp and like on your arms like you can tell when it's not human hair so also if you're looking online at pictures it should have a certain type of like natural softness that you can see in pictures you should be able to pick that pick up on that in photos if you don't and then you're kind of iffy about it or it doesn't look like what you might want to actually wear it do not buy it do not buy it okay because you don't waste your money out of everything that I mentioned before, I'm gonna just tell you this. Lace should have been number one on the list because lace is important. Lace makes the look. <laughs> if you don't have good lace, don't even worry about the hairline. So you need to have good lace. You really want a lace that's as clear as possible. Not a lace with a white tint and not a lace that's so dark. Now there are some laces that are tinted and so forth, but you can tell that it will be a natch, a clear lace that was possibly tinted. You want the lace to be as, when I say clear, you want it to be as close as possible to being invisible. Lace is a fabric, so is it gonna melt into your skin? No, but you want it to be as close as possible to melting into your skin, like my wig is now. That's one of the reasons why I love Hair Vivi. I know I keep bringing it back to them. Obviously the video is but I feel like they get it right. Like I don't have to necessarily, I don't really necessarily have to ever tint my lace or put makeup on it. Like it's usually perfect to put on right out of the box. And that's one of the things that I really look for when it comes to buying a good wig. Some things to look out for when, when it comes to lace. If your lace is too thick, that is an indicator that your wig is not a good wig. If the lace is too stiff, it is not a good wig. If the lace feels very itchy and scratchy, even when you put it on your hand, if you just, you're, you're putting the wig right here and it still feels itchy and scratchy, it is not a good wig. And you should avoid 
at all costs because you're going to be miserable. It's going to be hard to install. It's going to be hard to sleep with because it will be scratchy and you can feel it on your skin. So you really want your wig to be as comfortable as possible. You want it to be where you put it on your head and you almost kind of can't feel it. It's not too itchy. It's not itchy at all. It's not rough on your skin. It doesn't feel like it's pulling your hair underneath. It just feels like, like nothing. <laughs> Density is going to be next on the list and that is another huge thing to look out for. Now, I prefer my wigs to look natural. I don't like my wigs to look super heavy and thick and full. You want it to look natural. You want it to feel natural on your head. I would say stay between 150 and 200 percent density. Now, what is density? Density is basically how thick your wig is going to be. It's basically equivalent to you saying like one bundle or two bundles or three bundles or four bundles. It's basically the fullness of a wig. I feel like anything over 200% density is a little is a, is, a, is a little crazy and I probably wouldn't I I've done it before and for me, I feel like my face is like kind of little. Not can be wrong, but I feel like my face is kind of little and I feel like it just is too much going on up here. I prefer anything between 150 and 200%. I would also recommend that for you if you are looking for a unit because I feel like it will be more manageable. It is more easy to deal with. It is more easier to style. It is, like I said, more realistic looking. So I tend to lean towards that, that route when it comes to buying a good wig. And then just to go a little bit deeper into density. So the longer you also go with the length of here is going to be how much more density you want. So I guess the best way to say that is anything over 18 inches, you basically would want it to be over 150% density, right? Because the longer it is, you don't want it to be long and stringy. You want it to be long and full, have a lot of value. Now, if it's under 18 inches, you can easily get away with 150 to 180% density. That should be enough volume and enough thickness for you to create any style and look that you're going for. So let's get into some fun details. So the wig that I'm wearing today is actually a unit from Hair Vivi. It is 20 inches long, so I'm gonna move back so you can see some more. I have my mic right here, ignore that. But it is 20 inches long and it is 160% density. So like I was telling you, you should go between 160 and 200% density. And then the lace that I have on this unit is an invisible HD lace. It's immaculate. I feel like it looks really good up close as you can see. It looks really natural. I also do have a discount code for you that will give you $30 off of your next Hair VV purchase in case you're interested. I hope you guys learned a thing or two in this video. I did go ahead and install this video on my, I mean this video. I did go ahead and install this wig on myself and absolutely love the outcome of this unit. Like I feel like it's just so soft. It feels good. <laughs> Definitely great quality. Again, I'm 5'2", so this is where this is where 20 inches gets me. Gets me right here. My belly button is here and it's right here. So um, it's a good length for me. Typically, it's typically a length that I would normally go for. <laughs> I would I I haven't been wearing longer. So this or shorter is more my style, more my speed. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. I love the color. Like, oh my god, it's just so look at that. And you can see like this hair just feels soft. Anyways guys, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about how to buy a unit. Really consider all the points that I mentioned in this video because I feel like it will definitely make the process a whole lot easier. It will help you to also weed out the bad wigs from the good wigs and be able to actually make a purchase that is worth it, okay? Wigs, they not cheap anymore. They, they're kind of expensive if you really want quality. And if you really want everything that I mentioned in this video as far as like a natural hairline, a good looking wig, a realistic looking wig, a, a good colored wig and so forth, you're gonna have to put up a little bit of money, but guess what, your wig will last you a long time. It is an investment that will actually be worth it. And you, I know y'all been hearing all the drama about the hairstylist, right? So just get a wig that works so you don't have to worry about making an appointment and reading a whole long script, no shade, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything that I mentioned to you guys below, including the link to this wig is down below. Go ahead and check out Hair Vivi. Don't forget I have a coupon code for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.